Welcome back. Now, in April, a scandal surrounding DA Eastern Cape leader Ngaba Banga's role in the death of two young women last year saw the Nelson Mandela Bay Council meeting descend into chaos. Opposition party members said the mayoral committee member for human settlements was not fit to deliver a tribute to Mama Winnie Matigizala Mandela until he told the truth about the fatal accident. The same Ngabapanga used the resources of this municipality, a vehicle from the municipality where he was sitting in the tavern, drinking alcohol. He sent the security to go and ferry women. And then those young kids, they were then killed. What happened? Everybody knows. It was on the news. My bodyguard got into an accident. Two people died. I was not in the car. But if there is anything in the law that has been contravened, Councillor Banga has said it just himself in the press conference. He's prepared to answer for those, any charges that are put against him. Mr. Banga, I want to start with this question, Ms. Mazzoni. What Mr. Banga there, <laughs> Natasha, what Mr. Banga there fails to mention is that one of the people that the bodyguard was sent to fetch between those two women who died was in actual fact his girlfriend. Does it offend you that he doesn't even address her by name when he is responding to the questions there? Now I'm going to be 100% honest with you because you are 100% fair with me. I don't know who Nababanga's girlfriend is. I don't know what his personal life revolves around. I don't know who he dates, and that is his personal endeavor. I have absolutely no idea who he has a relationship with. So I cannot comment on that. But what I can comment on is this. Naba Banga himself has said, should any law or any piece of evidence come up against him, he himself will offer himself up to face the music. He said it in the press conference. He said it over and over again. So I don't think that you could ask for more than that. When someone says, if there is something I have to answer to, I am 100% willing to open myself up to any and all questioning and any and all processes. Let me make this uh, clear for you and perhaps a bit easier. The girlfriend element was actually confirmed to us, the media, because I was there on that day. It was confirmed by the mayor of Nelson Mandela Bay, Ethel Trollip, and he had his own justification. So I go back to the question, given that there is an acknowledgement mm. that it was Mababanga's girlfriend who was being fetched, who died among those people who were in that car, does it offend you that Mababanga does not even address this woman by her name? Once again, I, I did not know who Naba Banga's girlfriend was. I'm learning for the first time from you that even Mayor Trollope uh, told a media conference that it was his girlfriend. Um, I think it must have been an incredibly traumatic experience, uh, whichever way you look at it. And I think it would be remiss of me to make a comment on behalf of something, A, that I don't know the background to. And I haven't discussed this with Naba. Naba and I have never sat down and had a discussion about this. So I don't know what the situation around it was. So I can't give you an honest and fair answer because I simply don't know enough about the situation. What is clear, Natasha, is that Naba Panga indeed did send his bodyguard to fetch, among other people, his girlfriend. Do you think that his actions were an abuse of resources of Nelson Mandela Bay? Certainly, pending an investigation, if he is found to have transgressed any element of the rules, as Mayor Trollope said, as Naba Banga himself has said, he is willing to face the music. So this is not someone who is trying to run away from responsibility. If there is found to be a transgression, he will be held accountable in the harshest possible way. He himself has said that, Mayor Trollope has said it. Has the DA ever held a disciplinary inquiry around this matter? Not particularly uh, around this matter, as far as I know. I came into office um, in the middle of April. I don't know what has happened since then. I don't deal with the FLC issues that I'm not asked. So let me just explain something, because this I know is confusing to certain people. I'm the deputy chair of the Federal Council, and as such, when the DA enters into court action, I and James Self are responsible for the, for the speaking out of those court actions. I do not speak for the FLC. 
because the FLC is the judiciary of the DA and it must be respected to do its work. Are you aware of him ever being charged for this particular matter? I, I, I know that there were certain investigations being done, but I honestly cannot tell you where those investigations are. Natasha, Mr. Banga is a leader of the governing party in Nelson Mandela Bay. What do you think his conduct and the impact of what has happened here, that impact has had on the community of Port Elizabeth? And what do you think people of Nelson Mandela Bay walk away with when they see Ngababang? I think as, as with any leader, if you are going to stand for a position of leadership, there is great responsibility that comes with being a leader. And one of those responsibilities is that you are the first person to admit when you are wrong, and you are the first person that takes action, and you submit yourself to investigation should there be wrongdoing. I think the fact that Naba has said in an interview, I think the fact that Mayor Trollope has said in an interview that we've just seen, that if there is any transgression, absolutely everything will be done to make sure that it's investigated fully, goes a long way to show how seriously this takes. And I think the people of Port Elizabeth would have seen that and would have said, right, they, they are willing to subject themselves to an investigation. Is it fair, in your view, as a senior leader of mm -hmm. this party, is it fair that the bodyguard who was sent to go and fetch people and gets into an accident and those very people that he was sent to fetch die, is it fair that he alone is now going through a criminal case? Should Ngababanga not be part and parcel of that? If I knew more about the case, I would be able to give you an educated opinion. I don't know the intricate details of the case, but I can tell you this, knowing the government in Port Elizabeth, not one stone will be left unturned, and knowing Naba Banga to be the leader that I know him to be, if he has done something wrong, he himself will submit himself to face the music. Naba Banga, as, as I had already mentioned, uh, he is a leader of the governing party in the Eastern Cape. I'd like you to tell me whether or not it is important for him to come clean about this matter and say, yes, indeed, I did send my bodyguard and I was sitting in a tavern to go and fetch my girlfriend. I think that Nababanga is going to be the first person to submit himself to a full inquiry. He said so. And I think that it's of absolute importance that if there is any hint of wrongdoing, that you submit yourself to a full investigation. And I have no doubt that that will happen. But you haven't even charged him. Because I think an investigation is ongoing before it can be charged. Do you believe he's, he's embarrassed the party and the government of, these, of, of Nelson Mandela Bay? I think once the facts are on the table and we speak from a position where all the facts are known, and that we don't have any speculation and we don't have things being leaked to the media and that we hear it from the horse's mouth, I think we'll be able to make an educated opinion then. Do you agree that Patricia DeLille, rather uh, Helen Ziller, has embarrassed this party in any way? I think comments that were made were unfortunate. I don't think Twitter is the correct platform to have a massive discussion that holds a lot of tension, that holds a lot of emotion for South Africa. I don't think that kind of discussion should be had on Twitter. And I think it caused a, a lot of unnecessary um, hurt. And uh, that cannot be denied. I, I myself um, did not appreciate the comments that were made about colonialism. Mm -hmm. um, I find colonialism to have been uh, in incredibly damaging to our country. I think that anyone who has ever operated and, and suffered under any colonial power knows exactly how degrading colonialism can be. And I think if you were trying to make a point about the fact that there was a, an element of infrastructure that was left by colonial power, which I do believe Helen Zilla was doing in referring to Singapore and what she'd seen in Singapore, I don't think that Twitter, where you have 134 characters, is the right place to express your opinion without coming under attack. And I think so I'm, she the has first, embarrassed the party. I'm the first person to say Twitter, Twitter is dangerous. So she has embarrassed the party. I, I think that the comments were unfortunate.
why should she survive and Patricia de Dill not survive? Well, I think that the actions taken against Helen Zilla were very severe taken by the party. Um, besides her role as Premier, all other leadership positions were taken away from her. She doesn't actively participate in any leadership structure of the Democratic Alliance. Um, and it's a very, very harsh sanction for someone who was as senior in the Democratic Alliance as she was. So I don't think it's fair to say that action wasn't taken against her. I think very harsh action was taken against her. Natasha Mazzone, thank you very much for your time. It's always such a pleasure. Thanks indeed. Thanks for coming through. Well, uh, I'd like to thank my guest now. And uh, the Politburo continues after the break. Superstar. Thank you.